Hey, this is Mark at Toledo Fast Fantasticon. I'm here with legendary actor Sam Jones. Tell me, how's the con going for you? Fantasticon is fantastic. That's why they call it fantastic. Great turnout for Saturday. See, a lot of fans, this is their opportunity, not just to come by and meet me and get some selfies and some autographs, but it's also their opportunity to tell me their story. Most of them know my story, but now I get to hear. Now, if the lines are long, I always ask them, now, is it the short version or the long version? But no, it really is. It's a great opportunity to, to get to understand and, and, and know them. Everybody, everybody has a story. It's wonderful. So everyone was a big fan of Flash Gordon. And then when you got the call to be in the TED series, how did you, how was that? It was great. You know, you know, you hear certain actors or athletes say, I'm not a role model. But remember, I got a call from Seth MacFarlane. And this is what he told me when he called me. He says, Sam, when I was eight years old, I was getting on my mother's nerves and she dropped me off at the movie theater where I saw Flash Gordon by myself and you changed my life, is what he told me. And I knew when I walked out of that movie theater, I was going to be a creative, artistic person. And I said, well, Seth, you did end up becoming a creative, artistic person, but you also became a bit perverted in your movies. <laughs> I said, I hope I didn't influence that. But, but the whole point of that is, we are role models, whether we like it or not, whether we know it or not. And this eight-year-old young man, Seth, grew up to be a decision maker in this industry. And I got that call because I influenced him. And he brought me into the uh, TED franchise. Now let's go back to Flash Gordon. Now, talk about role models. You got to work with some legendary actors in that movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell me, you know, uh, Max von Sydow. Yeah, Brian Blessed, Ornella Muti. Uh, uh, my, yeah, Topol, my other leading lady, Melody Anderson. Yeah, no, it, it was. Uh, that's why we're talking right now. Uh, that's why. That's why we're talking. We filmed that 44 years ago, and we're still talking about it. So the question should be: Why is Flash Gordon still relevant? Well, he's still relevant because, especially with the youth, he's just a man. He's just a man. A lot of the younger generation and older. We always think we have to look towards, well, superhero, yes, but somebody with superpowers. Flash Gordon proves the point. He's just a man. He goes through the same adversity, the same challenges as everybody else. He doesn't need any superhuman strength or powers. He's just a man. And if he can get through it, then by golly, I can. I, I think that's the message. I really do. Yeah, he's just a man. Quite a role model at that. Yeah. Now, tell me, what do you got coming down the pipeline? What do you got? Oh, we, we just did a film called An Unlikely Angel. I loved it. All three of us were nominated, my, uh, myself and uh, the lady that played my daughter and the young lady who played my granddaughter. And that's on Pure Flix. And, uh, yeah, and, and uh, going to Ireland to do a film. And then in between all that, I'm doing comic cons. Busy guy. Well, anyways, it was a pleasure speaking with you, Thank Sam. Thank you. Okay. And this is Mark. Has to come with yes. Flash. Oh. Come on now.